Good morning, diggers. I'm Char. You are in the Daily Gratitude Playlist. It is Monday, December 14th. It is the 14th day of Grat of Vlogmas. Happy Monday. I love Monday. I hope you're excited. It's Monday. Yay for Monday. Let's give this a thumbs up for Monday. Jupy's in here destroying the floor right now. Um, so he's having a good Monday as well. So today is very, very cold. I don't know if you've seen my other social medias. It's minus 20, it's like we woke up to minus 28 degrees Celsius today. So it went from, oh, now it's minus 25. Can you see that? Yeah, it went from like being minus four to minus 10 overnight down to minus 28. So we've had a little bit of experience this morning. Hubby is home today from work because the car hasn't started, it's just frozen. We had it plugged in and everything and it just happened to be frozen. Um, Monday, 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 Meditation Monday, Money, Money Monday. Why are we talking Monday? Money today? No, we're talking mental health today. We've got the wisdom cards up. I've noticed in a lot of social media posts that there is a lot of awareness coming to mental health in the holidays due to the pandemic that's going around right now and people being separated from their families. So continuing to do this every single day, I promise you guys, every day I will be here. Yesterday was later in the evening. Um, things weren't charged. Uh, it was a day of charging up. So I thank you for your patience there. And traditionally when we do um, the gratitude vlog, how it was before, uh, we do a moment, of, uh, two moments of gratitude, one moment of beauty, and then today we are going to include something that excites you. Um, so let's get right into it and say two moments of gratitude. I am grateful for my warm blankets. Oh man, I'm grateful for the heat in my home. I'm grateful for the sunshine outside. I'm grateful for my hot cup of coffee. I am grateful for my warm clothes. I'm wearing wool today to stay warm. And I've got a sweater downstairs for when I get cold. I, I'm grateful that I can do that. I'm grateful that I have resources at my fingertips. I'm grateful for making intention in my life to manifest things. Manifestation Monday! I'm grateful for you guys for showing up and doing your best as well. I am grateful for all that I have and all that I am and you know the experiences that have shaped me and what has brought me here. Um, I'm grateful for this year. I'm grateful for this time. So there are a lot of things to be grateful for. Um, you just need to pick a couple of them and think about them today. <laughs> Moment of beauty. Hoarfrost is amazing. You guys saw it in the Winter Wonderland um, gratitude that I when I took you guys outside we were crunching around in that frost. That hoarfrost is still here. Um, so in six months I'm I think there's going to be a pretty big thunderstorm that I'll share with you guys. But um, the hoarfrost is quite dangerous as well. In the next town over, they had lost power this morning because the hoarfrost was on everything and then the wind blew and it cracked. Um, but still, people were pooling together and banding together, which is an amazing, amazing thing. Um, but my moment of beauty today is hoarfrost and I've never really experienced it until I came out here to Manitoba. And um, so these little things that are different out here and the little things that I see in nature, I'm not taking those for granted either. I'm learning and, and understanding and celebrating them as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I look very pixelated in here. I think the tablet might be breaking. We might have to do some gear fundraising soon. All right. But here we are. My moment of beauty is the hoarfrost. It is amazingly beautiful. It is so dangerous, but that's nature, like that awe-inspiring danger, that adrenaline, that calming, that energy that it just gives you. It's always there, ready for you. It's beautiful. All right, something that excites you. Tell me in the comments below something that excites you, something that makes you feel excited, something that you like doing, you like seeing, you like eating, you like reading, uh, you like talking to, something that excites you. So for me, something that excites me is my cards. Like I love the tarot cards, I love the decks, they excite me very much. Um, I'm like a kid in a candy shop with them. Um, you know, paying attention to new creators and Kickstarters and original decks that way, that way and supporting other artists and other readers and other, and other people in this industry. Um, so that 
really is what excites me. I really do enjoy these metaphysical tools that I use and play with and teach about and everything. Like, it just it drives me happy. Look at it. I'm so excited. I could talk about it all day. So, see, even now, let's talk about the wisdom cards today. Um, Louise Hay is an amazing, amazing human being. Thank you so much for the introduction here. We have all the ones we've done on top, so I'm just going to take from the middle of the deck here. This is, don't even know what's going on. Don't even know what's going on. Oh, awesome. So, finding gratitude in moments... Ooh, get in there get in there finding gratitude in moments um, that are very trying and stressful is difficult but once we are able to find the silver lining and things find that little bit of gratitude in those moments we gain our power back and we we can choose to act rather than react in situations and I say this every single day because I make that choice every single day right take the ego out of the position separate your emotions from from the situation and you're able to act rather than react and it really is powerful um, I love this my mind is a powerful healing tool and the lesson on here is every illness holds a lesson for me to learn Louise Hay has used her mind and practices to heal illnesses and diseases from her body I was gifted this book, thank you MJ, from a lovely subscriber and being able to understand where she's coming from, her interpretation on changing mindset and how you actually have that control over your body um, and you have that control to heal yourself. I'll put the link for this book down in the comment section today. Um, it has been a phenomenal life changer for me. I, I'm still that far into that far into it, there's the beginning. Um, and I've taken so many wonderful lessons from it. So it's like, my mind is a powerful healing tool. And if you ask any yogi or any healer, they're gonna tell you that. They're gonna say it's within you. You can heal yourself. There's assistance with maybe modern medicine, with Adviric, am I saying that correctly? Medicine practices with ancient plant, natural medicine tactics. Every illness holds a lesson for me to learn. And once we heal that part, once we heal that lesson, generally the the her pretense is that illness will dissipate. It'll go away. It'll heal itself. And really, when you start to combine intention and mind and energy fields and looking at where that dis-ease is in your life, breaking those words down, looking at the root causes of things, looking, there's blockages that we don't even know about that, you know, I talk about often about breaking through those. And so when we stop and say what is my lesson here versus why is this happening to me um it re this really really makes a lot of sense for me right now my mind is a very powerful healing tool and every illness holds a lesson for me to learn so it's an opportunity to learn about yourself your mind your body your soul right and while it is very um unfortunate that people go through these or that you go through this or i go through this or we go through this there is healing power available to us um and just the universe and energy is just so very powerful that's why you have people practicing reiki um acupuncture acupressure um, touch therapy hot stones this is all transference of energy to get through those blockages so by coming here and practicing every day, I practice the gratitude, practicing other things to enhance that gratitude and to assist it um, when we're making these choices, making the choice to have a good day, making the choice to live in a raised state of vibration, making the choice to allow the universe to provide abundance to us because we are worth it. All right, you guys, I love you so very much. I hope your day is great. This turned out to be a bigger babble than I was expecting. Thank you for being here. Happy Monday. I hope you um, do a meditation. I've got the playlist. Maybe I'll throw it in the in the cards section down here. Um, and yeah, I hope you're, you're setting your intentions out for the week. It's very good. Uh, very true to what you want. And follow your heart. What is something that excites you? Let me know in the comment section down below. What is something that excites you? All right. You know what excites me. What is something that excites you? I love you guys so very much. I wish you the best today. Stay safe, whatever endeavor you're doing, and I will see you again tomorrow in our daily income and gratitude. 
All right, click the box. Check the link down below for that book, and I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.